Hi there, and welcome to the Call of Cinema. I am Aaron, and uh, we got a lot to talk about tonight. Good stuff and bad stuff. We are going to be looking at the Warner Archive sale. I'm going to give you some suggestions on that. Hopefully, I do hope that you did check out and were part of the uh, Master Chaos TV Epic live stream that uh, happened a while back. Why is my stream label showing stuff from months ago? I am not quite sure. And hopefully this is actually live. So let me just check something. For those who don't know, uh, you've, you're in the Call of Cinema. And it looks like absolutely zero people so far are in the Call of Cinema. It does take a couple minutes. Hey there, Chris. Welcome. I'm hoping to get the video that you wanted done there uh, early next week. I, I normally do too. I gotta say, Chris, it's, you've seen my Twitter more than likely. Needless to say, uh, kind of bummed tonight. Kind of not in the best not in the best headspace. I guess you, you might you might say. <laughs> hey there, Matt. I need to make sure I gotta figure why my chat box isn't popping the stuff up, which it should be doing. Come on, chat box. There we go. It is brutal. For those that don't know, for those that aren't on Twitter, uh, here's the thing. Every year I say, you know what? I am going to, this is going to be the year that I'm going to be able to do the, uh, the halfway uh, sale. I know I can never afford the... Uh... Thank you, Ashen. I truly appreciate Ashton because I'll be honest with you, you're the you're the constant, and, and that means a lot. Uh, you have no idea. Let me bring it up here. I'm trying to get your comments up here so that way when we go to the sale, I'll be able to pick up five titles. Nice, Richard. I want to make sure I'm not hearing myself in stereo, so. Please. All right, there we go. So, every year I'm going to do the Vinegar Syndrome Halfway to Black Friday uh, package. Uh, basically, what happens every year is usually the same thing. Now, last year I got fairly decent taxes, but there was some, we had some bills come up. This year, uh, my better half said, no matter what, when, uh, when the taxes come in, uh, you can take it. You can take your tax refund, and we'll finally be able to do the halfway, the Black Friday sale. That'll have your titles for the rest of the year, and basically every month you'll have something to look forward to. You'll have something to show on your channel. Hey there, Dave. So I uh, I went down H and R Block today, and I put in my uh, my tax uh, returns. So I came home, and they said it might take a day or two. So I said, that's okay, you know, it's normal. So I'm actually upstairs, I'm brushing my teeth, and I actually had this, this like, idea in my head, like, you know, wouldn't it be kind of comical if, you know, I'm brushing my teeth and all of a sudden uh, they call me. So I'm brushing my teeth and all of a sudden they call me. I'm like, fantastic, it's your block. I'm going to get my taxes back. I'll be able to put it away. I'll hopefully be able to pay a bill. Then I'll, I'll take the rest of it. And I'll put it towards the halfway to Black Friday thing, and I'll have the amount. We'll have enough to get it. So I'm all set. So I uh, hey there, Judah. So I pick up the the phone, and I uh, well, spit in my toothpaste first. Then I pick up the phone, and I'm like, hey, so you guys are done already, or do you need any more inf information? And they're like, so yeah, we're done. Um, and they said, well, yeah, we got like some good news, and we got some bad news. And they were like, so you're not going to really get much back this year. It's going to be different than other years. So I'm like, okay. So they went, I want to, don't go through the financial financial part of it, but apparently they said, well, we can put this in for you and it's going to take cost of it $80 uh, to do it. So I'm actually paying more to get my taxes put in than I, than I would have gotten back. So <laughs> I'm in a negative. So needless to say, uh, 
as excited as I am about the whole vinegar syndrome upcoming black, half of Black Friday sale, that's that is lowered. That's lowered a lot. And recently, because things have been different, my channel, the algorithm's been not too great for me. It's been it's been rough. It's it's been it's it's been fucking rough guys and now i'm i'm not in a good place but i wanted to come here tonight and do this for you guys hey there john so let's do that and try not to think about this because uh my cat is using is on his catnip tonight so you hear him in the thank you ron man so uh thank you Roy. Anyway, let's get to this, uh, to the goodness and make sure that we find this stuff here for you guys here tonight because it will be, uh, it'll be, we'll make it a good night. Unfortunately, my channel's not big enough. You need to have a certain, like, uh, income to get, like, uh, to get, like, your, uh, to have, like, your channel become, uh, become, like, I'm taxable, like, 15% taxable, but I'm not, I'm not in enough where I can like do ta get taxes back but let's look at the Warner Archive sale I I promise you guys that and I I do want to be the type of guy that keeps my promises for some reason the same the, the thing is going over and over again I do apologize I might have to take that off it's like the the nice thing anyway you really like your <clears throat> just poured the rad steel but actually Richard I'm gonna be reviewing them this week Okay, kitty, that's enough. You are so high. My cat is the highest cat. All right. Uh, <laughs> so, are we ready to look at this? Uh, if you're here right now, please do that. Okay, I got to do the YouTube thing. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you want to help out, I got the donation link down in the in the bottom below the thing. And uh, let's have a good time. Let's enjoy our Saturday. And let's check it out. Thanks, Chris, man. <clears throat> so is there any things that you guys are looking for in particular? Uh, the cat is going crazy, Griff. Uh, <laughs> it's very distracting. Uh, so is it when we're looking at stuff, are we looking at any? I, I know somebody's looking at John said he picked up five titles from sale. Some people are looking at animation. Some people are looking at like the uh... kitty. Oh god, I can't put you outside because you're an indoor cat, but you're driving me. <laughs> are you looking for like sci-fi? Are you looking for TV? Are you looking for horror? Are you looking for that type of stuff? Then. Ah, all right, we'll do this. Okay, so if you like. The whole, uh, every Blu-ray format claims it's MOD on their site, so be afraid to receive a burnt BDR with the Telltale Gray Ring disc. So, Lance, you're pretty safe when it comes to Warner Brothers when it comes to that. Uh, when it comes to their DVDs, uh, it's it's so far, it's a hit and miss to the DVDs, but with Blu-ray, Lance, you're pretty safe to get like a, uh, pretty much a, so, excuse me, uh, kind of a, uh, uh, an, an MOD disc. Warner is pretty safe when it comes to uh, to MODs. It's some of their DVDs, depending on if it was an earlier done DVD or like a later DVD. Uh, there may sometimes be a difference there, but with the Blu-rays, you're safe. Andres is right. The Blu-rays aren't burned when it comes to this one. So let's look at some stuff here right now. There's the a two-pack. If you're like the TV sci-fi movie, if you like the old t TV sci-fi movies, which I do, so I want to mention this one to you. I can't participate in this sale. I'm Canadian. Uh, if you look on the website, you'll notice that it says the item ships to the USA. So if you're in the UK or Canada, unless you've got like a friend over in the US, you're probably not going to be able to, to participate in the site or you got a US postal box, which I don't. Uh, so we got uh, Genesis 2 and Planet Earth. Uh, Planet Earth, of course, has the great John Saxon. I do like this. It, you know, it's a fun, cheesy sci-fi film. Uh, you know, double feature, two straight to TV ones. You know, we're meant to be like a TV series, uh, two pilots. But we'll be looking at some good stuff along the way here. I'm gonna pick up some classic stuff, some 
some animation. I'm guessing everybody's picked up Tex Avery. Cat, uh, you're driving me. I love you, but you're driving me. Apparently, the cat has lots to say about the Warner Archive sale. Oh, no, there wasn't a Genesis one. That is the first one. Genesis two, basically, it's uh, it, it's it's the name of the uh, what is it again? The name of the place or the name of the yeah, yeah. Genesis two is just the name of the uh, film. I think it might be named the installation or something like that as well. It's basically along you know the the kind of the Brave New World style things is what you're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> He is so high right now. You can't see him, but like he is looking around. He's got like this, uh, this turtle filled with uh, what's it called again? You know, the stuff makes cats high. <laughs> so <laughs> it's one of those nights. He speaks fluent cat. Good. I don't, Chris. That you can let me know what the hell he's saying. I got a feeling it's gibberish. My cat right now is he, he is uh, he is so high. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, Tex Avery Screwball Classics. There's two volumes of this one. I do recommend these. If you are an animation fan, uh, it really, really should be in your collection. It's not something to uh, to wait on. L <sighs> Hammer. There are so many versions of Hammer out there, but this this is a section. Well, look, one, look at this cover. Look how amazing this cover looks. Press disc that you're going to have uh, is, is better than a burnt disc. Burnt ones... You're gonna find go out of a uh, catnip. It's like, that's what I'm trying to say, man. Catnip. That's why my mind's gone. Uh, but Curse of Frankenstein. This is a really good one. It is one of their rare two disc special editions. Uh, so this means like you're getting features on this, and like a lot of features. Exactly, Buck Rogers for that being a space. You just picked up Curse? Yeah, Curse must own, man. Must own. I don't have it. Well, I got the old, like, UK edition of it. I would love to upgrade to this one down the road. Um, obviously not now. <laughs> nope. May not be the best time to bring your kids into my, my streams. <laughs> just saying. Uh, the Thin Man films. After the Thin Man is actually a really different one. Jimmy Stewart hates this movie, but I love it, actually. Uh, <laughs> if you've ever seen this one, like, don't give it away. But yeah, yeah, this is a good Thin Man film. With Unique Killer. Ever burn off a Okay, ever uh, allegedly <laughs> burn off a disc years ago? Remember when there was all those like sh torrent thing sites and stuff like that? Which, honest, I guess they're still around. I really don't know. But... From what I heard, there's a lot less than there used to be. Remember back in the in the glory days when there was a torning site around every corner? Ever burn off a disc, like buy a, a, a blank disc at a dollar store and burn it off? So you'll notice, and if you have, you've probably noticed over the years, is that eventually the uh, they deteriorate a bit. They they get they lose the lose quality. They start to freeze up. They don't work as well. A uh, press disc, however, is just the same as if you bought a disc that you got from a store. So if the disc is pressed, it's going to have a much longer lifespan than if it's a burnt disc. A burnt disc is a burn. A burns are meant to like, same as music and all that stuff. It, it's, you know, it's a temporary thing. A uh, press disc is pressed. It's meant to last. That's the next one I was going to mention, actually, Griff. So History Wax Museum is with Lionel Atwell. I actually love this movie. I'm going to say it. It's sacrilege. This is going to be sacrilege. Some of you guys are going to hate me for that. See, I don't do the torrent thing, Dave, so I don't. I really don't know, but I'm not going to lie and say I've never torrented in the past, like way in the early years of it. Remember when those with all those, like the mini notes and stuff? I know about those, but uh, no, uh, no, not so much nowadays. Uh, but uh, Mystery of the Wax Museum. That is a, those are good ones. Cinematic Collector. Everybody's got to get green slime. Just listen to the theme song, Green Slime. There's no way you can't get it. I love those pictures, Alan. Uh, 
This is really good. I like this one better. This is my favorite. Lana Atwell, I know, I know, I know, I know. Vincent Price is amazing. He's the man. He does fantastic. The 3D version of House of Wax is incredible. But I just love this version. It creeps me out. It creeps you out more. I like to, I think I like to make it better. That's what it is. There's Volume 1 of Tex Avery. Uh, another great one. The Thin Man. I recommend those. Love to have the set of those, though. The new restoration on on the Wax Museum, John, I've heard the same thing. I have heard it's amazing. Like, we're, we wouldn't even believe how good it is. Like, that, it's that good. Speaking of ones that are that good, uh, we have right there The Hidden with by Jack Shoulder. The, of course, the guy that, uh, that brought us Nightmare on Elm Street 2, my better half's favorite Nightmare on Elm Street film. Uh, this is a really good one. It's got Kyle McLaughlin in it. Uh, it's Michael Nuri too. Is it Michael Nuri? I think it's Michael Nuri. Let's go in. Let's see if it is Michael Nuri. From Flashdance. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. So I'm not going crazy. This is a really good film. I love this movie. First time I saw this was on VHS. I was going out of town. And we... Well, what had happened? I was in high school... And I was going away for some vacation, but we didn't think that uh, we were going to go that night. So I rented VCR back in those days. I rented a few movies, and The Hidden was one of them. So then we got a call like around 10 minutes after we got home. I'm, I'm setting up the VCR to the back of the TV, getting ready to watch movies. They're saying, you know, we're going after all, so you can get a ride with us. So I'm like, okay, we have to watch all these movies tonight. So we stayed up all night watching the movies. And uh, like, I was so jacked and hyped the next morning that when i was waiting for him to come i was out chopping wood <laughs> so not, so needless to say we we drive up there i had i hadn't slept all night i chopped like a bunch of wood and when we got to my uh, my place i uh you know what i did i fell asleep and i slept for a day and a half <laughs> all right the thing from another world you gotta have the thing from another world james arnest matt Dillon himself Hidden slash hidden is great. Hidden too, however, <laughs> and no. Uh. He's not cheating on you, man. You know we're we're a free love place here. Doing the whole swapping thing, Michael. <laughs> All right, Gaslight with Charles Boyer. Fantastic film. Uh, one of my dad's favorites. Favorites actually. Love this movie. I think this was my this is my grandmother uh, on my dad's side. Her my my dad's mom's uh, favorite movie, and I'm pretty sure this is one that he uh, that he has too. So uh, one that he desperately uh, that I desperately recommend. Dr horror Dracula, of course. It's it's freaking horror Dracula. It's Hammer. If if it's Hammer, you gotta get it. You know, uh, Drop Dead Gorgeous. I'm a big fan of this film. I know not a, not everybody is. I think. So. It's got cult classic status by now. Um, sharing is caring. That's the sign they put up at the uh, at the swingers club that I went to. No, just joking. <laughs> All right, so no, Drop Dead Gorgeous, really fun film. Uh, really like that. Out of the past. If you're going getting into film noir, if you if you're if you love film noir, if this is your first time getting into film noir and you've never been into it before. Uh, Robert Mitchum, Jane Greer, out of the past. The, here's your start, guys. Here, here is your your place. This is one of the one of the penultimate film noir fil releases ever. You get like all the big actors that you need for film noir. You got all the tropes here, and you got it all done extremely well. You got Kirk Douglas. You got Robert Mitchum, uh, Jane Greer. You have a film that's directed by Jacques Tourneau, so you know that the that the camera work is going to be exceptionally well done. Well, they keep like putting new stuff in the indicators, like and, and refreshing that that at, at a print list. So make sure you check the at a print list every day, Ragman, just to make sure that there's something has uh hasn't come out. But out of the past, if you're in, if you're a film noir fan, you don't have it, you gotta have it, man. You just gotta have it. I heard Je Ashen, me and you, man, we're in the same boat right now. What we gotta hope for is whatever. Like whoever's taking over this website, or if there's another website that's going on, Michael explained it yesterday. When was yesterday? Yeah, no, yesterday was Michael's birthday. Happy belated birthday, Michael! Uh, but uh, I gotta watch your birthday stream yet. Uh, 
Leatherface. You know, I love this movie. I do. I don't care what anybody says. This is fun. You know what's really fun about this movie? The Saw. The Saw's family. I remember the poster for this. I had the po- like I told you guys the other night. Had this Leatherface poster on my ceiling uh, in college. So basically, if you were a girl and you came to my... Well, I, we ran out of house. I lived with three other girls. Uh... Oh, uh, Michael, did you see my post about taxes? Because, oh, fuck that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. But, uh, but Leatherface is, is a cool one. So, if you, yeah, if you came to my dorm room, yeah, not my dorm room. My, well, I had, we, had, we had a house. <laughs> You're shirtless, I'm shirtless. Yeah. Dude, you know how many sandwiches I would eat shirtless if I got enough money, like, for this thing? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Basically, I had cheerleader camp on my uh, on my on my wall, and I had Leatherface on my ceiling. I really dig this one, actually. Ken Foray is in this. I'm a big Ken Foray fan too. So, The Hunger is one of the few Blu-rays from Warner Archives to do. Actually, one of, the only maybe the only Blu-ray from Warner Archives I have. The rest of mine at Warner Archives are all DVDs because. I am not as rich as many YouTubers that are on here. Not many YouTubers are rich, but uh, I'm not as well located as some people. And trust me, that makes a difference. Uh, when you're when you live in the area that I live in, things get way more expensive to get, and sometimes harder. Hey there, Alan. Well, you ordered great stuff, man. I, that, by the way, the Marlene Dietrich set. That is that the indicator one? Because I got that. It is freaking gorgeous. I have like the one from uh, Criterion too. Well, no, it's just just von Sternberg, but I have the uh, the uh, one from Indicator, and it is amazing. The Hunger. It's David Bowie. You gotta love David Bowie. David Bowie is my better half's favorite singer. And one of my favorite singers of all time, too. <laughs> well, when I was in high school, Dave, I had like uh, pictures of like Tiffany and Alyssa Milano like on one of my walls, right? Communist <laughs> Utopia. Well, us and our universal health care. You never know. Maybe that's why we're being so nice and so kind, Michael. We're we're slowly creeping up on you. That set is great, by the way. It's it's an amazing set. Here's a fantastic little film, by the way. Fearless Vampire Killers with Freddie Main. Really dig this one. <clears throat> First time I saw it, though, totally hate this movie. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't my thing, but eventually I you know, you know I got into it. So whatever happened to Baby Jane, of course, that's incredible. Satanic Rights of Dracula. Uh, Yeah, I'm a hammer completionist. Down the road, I will buy that one. (laughs) Is it good? It's a film. It's not one of their better films. Don't be afraid of the dark. 110% recommend this one. Saw this when I was young. That's because I look old, man. That's the the beard. <laughs> the beard makes me look older. Just read about fearless. Instead of gaslight, dude. Were you high, Michael, when you bought this? Of course you're high. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, Michael. Maybe this is the way you can go to your your better half and you can say, you know what? I can't stop this order, but maybe I just got to make one more order, just to get the right film. Just cause. Hey there, Matthew. Well, my taxes suck, but I am going to go through that and, and get you guys some, some good recommendations. So, the Big Sleep, Bogey McCall, always recommended. Any, we're looking right now at the at the Warner Archive sale. Of you, what you missed at the beginning of this video, me crying uh, because I got a call from, from H&R Bach. Uh, that's, that's what you missed. Um, 
showdown little Tokyo we'll talk about by the way I haven't forgot about it I know you can ask about the vinegar syndrome thing and we will talk about that uh, as well there was an announcement of vinegar syndrome last night um, I saw Brad put it up there on the uh, on Twitter on my Twitter machine early enough not high huh maybe that's what I need to do no not not be high but be high showdown little Tokyo Dolph Lundgren Brandon Lee it's a great combination trust me that one what I have to do For your indicator porn, so just give me a second. Are you ready for this? Oh yeah, it's sexy. Right here, baby. How many movies I think are in my collection? I don't know. Some uh, five, ten thousand, some somewhere around there. I, in between that range, I think. Oh yeah, there's a sexy book. There's cards. For those that ordered this, there's your indicator porn for tonight. All right, <laughs> back to the sale. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. All right, there's House of Wax 3D, the three-dimensional version. Who needs two dimensions when you can have three, right? The most astounding motion picture since motion pictures began. That's too many motion pictures in that word. Warner Brothers' amazing feature picture in natural vision. Three dimension. Half man, half monster who stalked a panic swept city for the beauties he craved for his chamber of horrors. I don't like this cover. Uh, it's it's cute. I, has very... Region free player. Got a nice little indicator. How nice, man. Nothing wrong with the, with the Criterion set. They have different features. You ever get the bones to get them down the road? I recommend it, man. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. No subtitles necessary. Look into it, man. Wait until dark. Really dug this film. Actually, Alan Arkin plays actually a pretty terrifying guy here. Uh, as he uh, goes after uh, a beautiful Audrey, a blind Audrey Hepburn. Why is that still? Thank you for taking care of the Kubrick. Thank you, Kubrick took care of it. Uh, all right, Jeremiah Johnson's a cool film. Uh, time after time, you gotta own time after time. It's really, really good. It is. It's one that I watched over and over again. Remember back in the, when I told you guys that my uh, my mom used to run used to own a uh, convenience store, and I was the person who had to watch all the uh, the VHS because it was unlabeled. Well, that was one of the movies I had to watch, and I watched it over and over again. I don't remember at the time. I don't know it now, but I had memorized. That speech that Jack the Ripper gives to H.G. Wells when H.G. Wells comes into, uh, at you know modern day seventies era, um, and he's basically letting him know that you know it's not the utopia that you thought it was going to be, it's not your future, it's mine. I love that. Uh, the witches, witches get stitches. No, <laughs> the witches is a really good film. Uh, this is a good like gateway horror too for like younger, for younger people. I actually really like the witches. Uh, Lady Hawk's a cool film. Body Snatchers, right aspect ratio? Let me just check. Getting widescreen here? Doesn't say. I'm hoping it's widescreen. Because the VHS version, the DVD version, this was sucky aspect ratio. Cabaret. Cabaret is a favorite, Damien, of my uh, better hats. Judgment Night. Recommend this one. Good film. Really, really good film. Great, like, uh, rewatch in that one. I was actually in a version of Streetcar Named Desire. Not a, not a film version, yeah, you know, off, 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 off Broadway. Uh, 
animation stuff. You got to have these Popeyes. Really do. Suck the, it, it does freak you out, man. That's why it's good to get. Get your kids scarred at an early age so that they're ready for, for life like later on. <laughs> okay, Green Slime. I strongly recommend Green Slime. It's a great one. If you like slasher films and you don't have night school, you got to have night school. Like night school, it, it's not, this is not, it's not a debatable point here. I need a haircut so bad, but I can't have it. <laughs> burgers like American. Those are big burgers, right? Have a great night, Michael. I'm glad you enjoyed your birthday. Enjoy. I'll, I'll look for your haircut in the next video. <laughs> I cut, well, I noticed that there was a that was something put in in limbo, and you, I think it was you, you used the wrench to to unlimbo it, which is good. Night school, you gotta have night school. It, it's if you like slasher movies, night school's a must. If you like Rachel Ward, night school's a must. Wolfen is. Wolfen is so good. Wolfen was hurt by the fact that it came out the same year as a couple movies that actually had werewolves in it. Now, Wolfen is not a werewolf movie. It is kind of like a werewolf movie. It it it's sort of it's more of a it's like what's the word we use it. We talked about this actually, Master Chaos TV stream last night, but which I recommend you guys check out. Um, mystery. Uh, there's a you know there's Native American aspect to it. As a native Canadian myself, a lot of people don't realize that about me, but I am. Uh, it's something I'm, I'm very proud of. There's that Action Jackson. There's a fun one. Fat Samurai guy had that. Uh, spoke about that on his channel. Betty, I like anything Betty Davis. I'm a sucker. So the letter, I'd get that. Key Largo, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, highest, I, I did mostly stage stuff. When what uh, well what I almost got, I got a role, which I ended up eventually turning down. Uh, Matthew on a uh, actually at the same time I got two I got a role on soap opera, a, a significant role. And I was going to take it, and at around the same time I uh, I got a role on another soap opera, and I ended up taking neither. And. Within that month, I had a role for uh, a film, a TV miniseries, and I turned that down, thinking, you know what, I can pick, I can do this anytime. I'm just gonna party and go to college right now. So yeah, uh, I, I was an idiot, <laughs> but it went to work the right way because honestly, you know, things I guess go the way that they're meant to go. I always thought of, of like myself, like better, like behinds the screen type of thing but uh i love being in front of the screen like the, that year the first year that i got out of high school and uh when i put out like at the time you put you like if you lived away from like la or new york and it places like that then you had to send out tapes and you had to either have a manager uh somebody you know had to have an agent or you either had to like get yourself like pretend you had an agent to get like yourself in there i Pretend it had an agent get himself in there. Um, so I got to speak to, uh, I got to speak to Days of Our Lives, I got to speak to Santa Barbara, I got to speak to people from uh, from all my children, and uh, and I was uh, offered uh, some some modeling stuff because I'm a skinny guy, and what that means is that uh, clothes hangs well if you're like. But I decided not to uh, to do any of it and party instead. So any festivals? Almost actually, there was a, there's, they started doing festivals down in my hometown, and I thought about it a couple times going back and directing, but I ended up not doing uh, doing that. Well, yeah. Well, years later I found YouTube, uh, and of course when I was in Ottawa, <laughs> uh, then. The Space Channel, it's here in Canada, decided that they were going to start having like hosts on their uh, in between the shows and stuff like that, and have like a kind of a space like show that he talked about. So I was going to do like an audition for that as well, and I ended up not going for that. Uh, that I think would have been something that I one I think I would have got it, and two I I, I think I don't know. hosting, no shock, right? Okay, good. <laughs> 
there. I apologize for boring you guys for a couple minutes. Uh, Death Trap. Again, uh, did this play? Fantastic film. Uh, Michael Caine, Chris Reeve, Diane Cannon. Great film. Truly, truly love this film. A bit. I mean, like, there's definitely more more out there. There's more, like, revenue basis and stuff. But you would make more. The thing is, you if you're an independent filmmaker back to the cubic, you probably would have made more money. Because um, that's the that's the thing. Right now, you maybe not as much because you had the chance to you had more stuff to go in there. <laughs> you, well, YouTube came calling twenty years later. <laughs> so, uh, Dave, I uh, I got married when I was young, had kids, uh, had uh, moved around a bit. Get married again. <laughs> so met my met my soulmate. And I'm, I'm still good friends with my ex, wonderful lady. Uh, sometimes you meet the person that you're supposed to meet in the right time in your life, and it, it does. And she's upstairs in uh, watching some stuff right now. Death Trap's fantastic. Oh, the Popeye again. These, I recommend these. So these are the 40s ones. So if you got the DVD series, the, Pop, the Popeyes that were put out, these are not the same cartoons that came out uh, on the three DVD sets. These are after the DVD sets, I think. So Seahawk, yep. Earl Flynn, gotta love Earl Flynn. The Swarm, again, it's a cool one. Uh, suspicion. I think the bees initially was supposed. Remember the bees? Vinick Shannon put out was initially supposed to be named the Swarm, uh, but the Swarm I paid money to the bees, the movie The Bees, so that they could keep retain that name. <laughs> so that's probably the most money the bees ever made. <laughs> okay, V the original miniseries. Uh, love that. Got some good old Alfred Hitchcock here. Suspicion. I love Suspicion. Initially. Cary Grant's character supposed to have been different in Suspicion than it turns out in the end. But uh, he was Cary Grant, and his handlers were very careful about that. Ride the High Country, Randolph Scott, Joel McRae. Excellent, excellent, excellent film. Heaven's Gate, you know, one of the biggest bonds of its time. I don't mind it, actually. I like, I, I enjoyed the film. I know it's not for, every, it's not for everybody. I'll, I'll gladly admit it's not for everybody. Uh, but I did enjoy it. Now, I haven't seen it in years, Cubic, so I might watch it and, like, and not like it like as much now. But uh, I, I did like it back in the day. Now, if you ask, ask me about Ishtar, I didn't get through that. Uh, <laughs> all right, so A Mighty Wind. Excellent film. Really good film. Innocent Bloods. Amazing vampire film. I love this vampire film. When Dinosaurs Ruled the Earth, you know, we're looking at the hammer stuff again. Yankee Doodle Dandy. Battle of the Cable Hogue. Yep. Sam Peckinpah. Good Sam, Sam Peck. I'm, I'm giving you guys too many choices here, but I'm, there's the things. Like, you may not be in one one met food, one type of genre that I mentioned, but you might love the other. So there you go. Harper and the Drowning Pools here, too. So you're going to get a chance for both of those. I know this is one that Kubrick doesn't like, but I actually do. And that is Donald J. Camel's uh, performance. Now, that being said, I like everything, but uh, White the Eyes is the best thing. But you got a movie here, performance. You know, it's shot by Nicholas Rogue, which, you know, who's a brilliant, brilliant filmmaker. You know, don't look now. Um, so as you see, I'm not going to give you guys just normal stuff. A lot of people enjoyed it. I just didn't. Like, press had nothing to do with it for me. Uh, I just went to the theater, and I, I, I just didn't get through it. My Blue Heaven, I like. That one's a lot of people don't talk about. I actually like that one. Vision Quest. I was a real big fan of Vision Quest, actually. Hey there, Jason. Welcome, man. Welcome to the broke-ass cult of cinema. So there we go. Vision Quest, great film. 
Ice Parts is fun. Not great, but fun. Uh, Valley of Guanji. If you are a if you are a Ray Harryhausen fan and you got those really cool Ray Harryhausen box sets that came out from Indicator and you're like, oh, I got all this Ray Harryhausen. I've watched all this Ray Harryhausen, but oh, I still am jonesing for a bit more. I need more Harryhausen. I got a fever. And the only thing that can, and the only prescription is Ray Harryhausen. Well, then the Valley of Guanji is for you. Because this, my friends, is a Ray Harryhausen film that nobody talks about. It is a Western dinosaur film. Look, and look at this cover. Look how, look how sexy that cover is. Valley of Guanji. Hey, Twisted Cinema. Welcome, man. All right, Black Scorpion. Fun, cheesy one. Dude, your opinions, all opinions are welcome here. Until they're not, and then I crush them down. <laughs> uh, all right, so we got twist. We got here a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. Mickey Rooney, Andy, uh, Judy Garland. Uh, Strike up the bands here. Big parade is here. Like musicals, that's kind of cool. Come on. Here we go. There's a lot of good films there. I can fast another Hitchcock one. There's a drowning pool. That's the you know the sequel to Harper. John Behemoth. If you like like monster movies, John Behemoth is fun. Patamike, Tracy and Hepburn and Patamike. Great film. Illustrated Mad with Rod Stagg and Claire Bloom. I like that one. Uh, Patch of Blue with Sidney Poitier. I love Sidney Poitier. I'm trying not to pick everything, you know? Like when I'm choosing like stuff that I think you guys might like. Uh, Possessed, Joan Crawford. like that film. The Sunshine Buys is a particular... This is the sale. This is the four for forty four sale, Jason. I apologize for not mentioning that ahead of time. I was, oh yeah, anything Mickey Rooney. My 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 mom and dad. I think they both liked Mickey Rooney when I was when I was young, and I did not live with either my mom or my dad. But uh, I know we talked about film and stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, Boys Town was a was one that I watched. Sunshine Boys. This used to come on CBC. So anybody here that's Canadian, uh, this was a big CBC film. Like. And it is so good. You got like Water Mouth Hall and George Burns. You haven't seen Boys Town? You gotta see it, man. It's a classic. It's like Angels with Dirty Faces. Like they're not the same thing, but you know, they're, you know, they're just moves you gotta see. Uh, Doc Savage, Man of Bronze. Truly recommend this one. I love Doc Savage. Four forty four you can get more as five for fifty five, etc. etc. Nice. This is one I would kill to have. Hey there, Antoine. Welcome, man. <laughs> this is made better with more cowbell. Foods made better with more with more bacon. I would love to own this movie. There's so many here that I have like a special affinity for this film. There's a 15% code. I thought there's a 20% code too floating around there, Griff. Still no good to me, but if you're in the US, definitely like look for it. I think everybody's had their summer party too. Your youth. Tarzan's Greatest Adventure. It's pretty great. It's a pretty great adventure. I'll, I'll, I will say that. It's, it's a pretty great adventure. Because you get one of the best Tarzans of all time, which is Gordon Scott. Love Gordon Scott. You get two of the best villains ever, Tony Quayle and Sean Connery. So how can you go wrong with that? The evil Sean Connery is a diamond hunter.
So for those that like adventure films and like Tarzan and you don't have Tarzan's Greatest Adventure in their collection, 100% recommend it. You will not you will not be disappointed. Where the boys are. You like the classic stuff, Connie Stevens stuff, you might like that. Um, my dad's favorite, Finney's Rainbow. Literally, this is my dad's favorite movies is Finney's Rainbow. That's a movie that also didn't do what was better than people uh, years later. It got like a reevaluation. Pink Flamingos, 25th anniversary edition. Let's get Grace Stoke actually saw in theater. Not my favorite Tarzan film by any means, but uh, I got a special opinion for it because I, uh, I saw in theater. Ball of Fire, there's a good one. Barbara Stanwyck, anything Barbara Stanwyck. Seen the Tarzan film with Jane March. Didn't she do more than one? Is that the Green Goddess one? Uh, I'm looking it up now, actually, just to see. Wait a minute. You mean as Jane March is in the newer actress, right? Oh, wait. You're talking about the new Tarzan. Sorry. I I'm, I was totally thinking someone else. Yeah, I have, actually. I got that here somewhere, actually. Tarzan the Lost City. Oh, the Casper Van Dien, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, Casper Van Dien. Yes, that was, that's the 90s one. Though, uh, not directed by Coppola. <laughs> uh, not, not that Tarzan. All right. Seven Faces of Dr. Lau. I actually like that one. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh, nice. Now, you see some of these are your DVD. Some of these are Blu-ray. Hey, they're training. Red Sun's an excellent release. Love Red Sun. By the way, if you are here and you have yet to have hit that special, oh-so-cool like, like button that not only helps you like notice know when videos are being made but little do you know every time you hit the like button a spring shine of happiness and good luck just comes around your 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 psyche and aura for the next 24 hours so very important to hit that like button there's 25 of you people there that have shamefully have yet to hit the like button 24 of you one person left because i told him hit the like button <sighs> some people are so fickle uh, but here we go. All right. Red Sun, great movie. Charles Bronson, Ursula Andrews, uh, Toshir Mifuni, Elaine Delon. How can Oh, Finley, Phineas Rainbow's definitely read directed by Coppola. That's one. That's a movie I know a lot about because my dad told me about it so often. Neil Margin. This, this baby right here uh, was part of a, uh, a gangster set that I had. Or it's a film, sorry, film noir set excellent excellent film it was remade the remake not half as good hey there trash man how's it going we're looking at the four for 44 a sale don't worry though for those that are here for the vinegar syndrome thing we will be looking at the vinegar syndrome stuff in a little bit there was an announcement made we'll talk about that yep dementia 13 love that film by the way bad ronald yeah that is cool antoine here in canada there used to be a channel like on when you know, when satellites came around, uh, where it was a big thing. Everybody was getting like Bell Express through all that type of satellite stuff. So there's a there's a few new channels that came out, and there are all these like satellite channels. So one of them was a, uh, a horror movie channel called Scream. Well, Scream, we're about freaking you out. Remember that when you're watching Scream. Uh, anyway, so they used to show Bad Ronald all the freaking time. Have I watched the animated DC Harley Quinn? Only the first season. I haven't seen the second. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's just not as good. See, Narrow Marge is one of my favorites. I think that's one of the things. His Kind of Woman. Different Mitchum film. Not bad. Narrow Marge, and by the way, if you get it, if it still has it on there, great freaking docu like uh, commentary by, by William Friedkin. Really amazing commentary by Friedkin's on Narrow Marge. Uh, Agatha Christie's telling which version are we looking at here? Telling Indians. 
you o'brien shirley Eaton. okay different cover fabian leo glenn like stack cast out of the hill yeah you got good taste man you can buy the rankin bass sets the guyver too huh huh you got to get some genre stuff in here and before I go any further, let's do an update on Mon Macabre. I want to see how are they doing? How are those two? I, I told you guys about these two. I, I said there were ones to grab. Looks like Hunting Ground is sold out. Hell of the Devil, I think pretty much down to like about uh, 50 or under, last time I checked. Stella Dallas, great Barbara Stanwyck film. Last Dinosaur, it's a film. Uh, Antoine, unfortunately, dude, they ship to the U.S. only. So if you're in Canada, I, I, I'll tell you, I recommend if you got like a, a, an American like post office box or you got friends in the, in the, in the U.S. because this is truly like an American-only sale. You go on any of these here and you, you click on them, it'll say, you know, ships to U.S., ships to U.S. Uh, it doesn't ship to Canada. You have no idea how many times me and my better half, my better half likes a lot of these films, wanted to get stuff from the sale. We've never been able to. There. Yeah, the DVD of Deadly Friend. Why does Deadly Friend out of a Blu-ray? Why does this one not have a Blu-ray? Okay, here's one. Hear me out. Hear me out. So, If Looks Could Kill. Richard Greco, a young Richard Greco in the Booker days, uh, as a teenage secret agent Twisted Cinema me too see uh, within the first hour I ordered mine did you order yours early too Sins of the Flesh I don't have I, I'm so sad that I missed out on the special edition of Sins of the Flesh such a good one but if looks could kill not gonna lie I like this film I do. I'm glad this got a release. Though I wanted it to have a good Blu-ray release. I knew you were going to, Jason. <laughs> I knew. Star 80 is beautiful and wonderful and extremely well acted. And it broke my friggin' heart. And every time after I saw it, it, it broke my heart. 21 titles. Don't mention the word tax, Kobe. Tax is a, is a, uh, it's a dirty word around here tonight. Uh, Dorothy Stratton went too soon. Elvis and Girl Happy. The Long Long Trailer. And there you And for the people that just up and like and hit the like button, I want to thank you guys. Oh, it's it's called if if looks could kill, uh, Matthew. I know it's kind of a cheesy one, but I actually like that type of stuff. Oh yes, yes, yes. There's a couple good ones here. Yeah, I like that. See there, Wolf Wolfkin, uh, can vouch for me too. So Killer Party, love Killer Party. It's a fun film. I'm surprised this didn't get a better, a bigger release. I'm really surprised. Like nobody's picked this one up. Because even that cover, right? You you would assume this would get a big release, like from one of the big companies, like a Scream or an Arrow or something like that. Uh, Stroke Your Ace, I saw in the theater. I love this movie. I was a, I was totally in love with. Uh, they did actually play it on HBO back the day. Killer Party's a good grab, Goblins. Stroke Your Ace. I was a big. F I loved Lonnie Anderson, man. Uh, who didn't? Like she was so cute. She's probably still cute. I don't know. I'm just saying. Uh, I was a huge Burt Reynolds fan. I think it was a Parker Stevenson. Yeah, Parker Stevenson this one as well. Hell Needham. So if you guys got your rad or you picked up your, your rad steelbook from Mill Creek, which you really should, or you were one of the people that got, got the 4K, uh, still, steelbook's pretty cool. Long Long Trailer, that's Lucio Ball and Desiree Nez. Yeah, that's one of their, uh, one of the, the few f feature films they did, I think. Hunger, by Such a Nice. Yes, there you go. Those are all solid titles, man. Killer Party, yes, check. Hunger, check. Body Snatchers, check. Night School, I talked about that in the beginning of the video. Amazing. And Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, love that film.
creeped me out when I was a kid. And it in the shuttered room. Again, another good feature, double feature here. Especially shuttered room. Attack the 50 foot woman. That's a that's a film. <laughs> uh, not a, that's not that bad. Not great. It's not bad. Madam Satan's okay. I mean, you probably got this. Uh, more than like it's like a kind of an earlier one. Like a, I think this is a pre Cody right here. Pre code. It's a fun one. If you don't have, you should. If you like pre code films, you don't like pre code films. You know, not gonna matter. One Crazy Summer with John Cusack and Demi Moore. I'm a big fan of that. That's my era. Okay, now we get into now we get into something I, that I like. I can talk about something. I something truly. It's a me thing. All right, for those that complain about the super movies that come out now. <laughs> All right, this is what we had back in the day. This is what we got. So for you young people out there, this this is what you this is what you could have had. <laughs> right there. See that guy. The guy right there. That's Shazam. Oh yeah. And uh Solomon Grundy. The wizard. One crazy summer's amazing. And right there you can see Hawkman and Black Canary. Oh, T Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. I'll talk about that one. It's a good one. So this is Cheese. This was a miniseries, actually. It was a movie, a miniseries that was done. If you want to see the lead, the superheroes basically being roasted uh, and doing insanely batshit stuff, watch it. Okay, if you want to watch a very dark Christmas film, <laughs> and it's really cool, uh, it is a Flintstone Christmas collection. So... This hopefully got the Christmas Carol on it. Because Flintstone Christmas Carol, by the way, holy crap, that's a dark film. Flintstone Christmas. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's, but as the other two. So I would love to have that. We do need the Green Hornet series released. Complete as well. I want that complete. Rodney Danger. Oh, Rover Dangerfield. Strawberry Blonde, one of my favorite James Cagney films. Rob Williams, Come Inside My Mind. He is missed. Happy Saturday, Dennis. Gay Paris, the French cat film. The Beast with Five Fingers. Kearney's actually not bad. I like Kearney. Warriors. Not that Warriors when you're thinking of it. Okay, let's, another stop right here. Return to Salem's Lot. I, I like this film. Don't go in expecting this to be one scary, two to be at all like Salem's Lot. This is a film by Larry Cohen, so you know it's going to subvert your expectations. It's going to have weird humor. It's going to have Samuel Fuller, director Samuel Fuller, as a vampire killer. I'm not joking. That's the thing. Uh, and it's it's a it's a fun thing in this film. A sleepy New England town harbors a, co a community of the undead, a horde of blood frenzied vampires who've kept their ghoulish identities hidden for more than 300 years. So, good one to check out. But since I know some of you guys are here for this, let's let's do it right now. Let's talk about it. We'll come back to the sale, but let's talk about Vinegar Syndrome. White Heat, Public Enemy, Yankee Doodle Dandy, uh, great films. Oh, oh, so. Here we go. The halfway to Black Friday flash pre-order is coming. March 26th to March the 28th. And what do we know so far? Lock in your pre-order for the new halfway titles including the secret releases. Vinegar Syndrome's Ultra number two will be revealed along with a few other surprises. Only here at www.vinegarsyndrome.com So expect to see some cool... Oh my God! There is a brand new Sex World Holographic Gold Variant poster out. Is that available? Wow. Damn it. 
Jerry, you chose some really good ones, man. You chose all good ones, actually. From Behind the Grave, high on my list of ones that, that people should pick up. But yeah, I would kill to get that Sex World poster. And I'll set 4K release. Which is probably not going to happen now. Anyway, so <clears throat> 26th to the 28th is the the, pre the flash pre-order for the Black Friday sale. Three days before my birthday. And will I be able to get it? No. No taxes for Aaron. No, uh, no halfway to Black Friday package for me. Might as well. Just kick me when I'm down. Uh, but I'm excited to see what the VHU is going to be. Like I, uh, I mentioned uh, last night on Master Cass's stream, that uh, this should be this should be something kind of kind of different. I expect it not to be. I expect it to be more mainstream. Not may not totally mainstream, but more mainstream than some of the regular releases. I don't expect it to be like a, a big uh, like a horror release, unless it's a really big a bigger horror release. I expect it to be something more along the lines of like an action. Or uh, fantasy, sci-fi, that type of thing. Sex War is a really good film, actually. It's if you're going in like just looking for the sex part of it, you, I don't know, I might be disappointed in that. But uh, if you're going in like looking at a film and looking at the time that came out and the budget that this film has uh, and what they did with it, then I think you'd be impressed with that. It's definitely not cheap. Like like may. The trailer might be cheap looking, but the film it's not, and especially for an adult film done around that done around that time period. It's actually one of the smarter ones. Give it a shot, Joe Kubrick. Like it gained cults, it gained status, not a cults, it gained actual classic status for a reason. But yeah, so I'm expecting whatever the film is, probably like a tie-in T-shirt. How much is halfway? To, where do you live at, Antoine? Uh, that's gonna make the difference. Um, if you were in uh, in Canada, it's gonna probably cost you at least seven hundred dollars without the shipping put in. If you're in the U.S., probably around uh, around five hundred. So I would say somewhere within the 500-ish range for the United States-ish and 700 probably, oh, 700 for sure, maybe a little bit more, Antoine, with, uh, I'm pretty, yeah, and, and I should know this actually, because <laughs> we've chatted, um, with I'd say at least another 120 for shipping, uh, 500 uh, around, I think last time, Dennis, I think it's 500 for you in the US, so somewhere in the 500 range. Uh, maybe a little bit less, maybe a tiny bit more. Not comp it depends on like what they're putting out this at the end, at, through this year. Uh, last year was around seven hundred, I think, and I think the shipping was around one hundred twenty for Canada. I, I think I don't think the shipping was very high at all for the United States. So California, you're 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 uh, you're, you're laughing. May, uh, yep, it's so their uh, halfway to Black Friday sale is done in May. The pre order for the for the halfway to Black Friday package which is going to have one 4K UHD release and I think three to four other regular titles. Uh, most of them are going to be horror uh, in that package. They will announce some of the titles on March 26th and March 28th. You're going to grab... The Warehouse in Canada is open. Um, like well, we can't go there, but <laughs> but yeah, um, I spoke to the guy a couple times from the warehouse, and probably sure you have as well. Um, so uh, the uh, yeah, they're really good at getting stuff shipped out quickly. I will be doing soon the review and rank for the Vo Forgotten Jelly Volume Three, so look forward to that, guys, because that's going to be a good one, I think. Because for those that picked out Forgotten Jelly Volume Three. Like and got the other two fantastic for those that just got that are just getting into the Forgotten Jelly stuff and got Volume Three as their first one. Holy crap! It came in good. Fifty 
fear of missing out. The FOMO thing, Griff, happens to all of us. They're they're really fun. They're by Sirius Santiago, uh, director Sirius Santiago, which is a favorite like expectation director Kubrick from uh from for me and my better half. We we do. Uh, there's one called Mothers, which I do recommend. Um, it's Vampire Hookers and uh, God, what's the name of the other one? We watched it too. It's fun. Like the guy gets, you know, he's he gets screwed over by some friends. It's almost like a, a Count of Monte Cristo. It is. It is like Vinegar Syndrome. It's almost like a Count of Monte Cristo type thing. So he goes to this island where this guy doesn't realize the war is over or something like that, and he gets hot by the samurai and and goes uh, goes back. Really cool. Both are extremely good. Murder Mansion, really. Autopsy, I love. Murder Mansion, Murder Mansion really kind of, kind of blew my mind in, uh, in the way that it was done. Not sleazy, but but just so, so well done. I think one of the biggest things for me is that they use science. And uh, hey there, Eric. So face Dr. Loud, think for another world, Dr. 872, Satanic Rights, Horror Dracula, Don't Be Afraid, The Dark, From Beyond. You got some good watching, Eric, man. Some great watching, actually. So for those that haven't seen Autopsy yet, uh, it does, like, tentatively tie in uh, Oleg Shumlov's geomagnetic thoughts on on a correlation between like uh, suicide and uh, and sunspots, geomagnetism, which I thought was a really interesting thing to put in there. But yeah, it'll be interesting. I'll, as you guys know, of course, I'll be doing a I'll be doing a uh, a video about this when it happens we'll do a live video i will be doing more than likely a uh a patreon exclusive video as well talking more in depth on these so expect i was going to do a patreon exclusive video next week the next friday was going to be my newest patreon exclusive video so if you're a patreon member thank you so much you're needed way more than ever than you can imagine right now uh because because i like i told you at the beginning of the video you guys uh, are extremely important right now to keeping this channel alive and uh, but I'll be doing a Patreon exclusive video probably on the day of the announcement so before it comes out I'll let you guys know and I'll like uh, I'll send you guys the links as always we'll do it like that So oldest film I, I got some silent stuff so probably something in one of my silent films I got like a old uh, I'm not sure if, you, if that should mean like the oldest like chronologically type thing I'm not sure what my oldest film that I own is uh, but uh, but probably my something probably something in my Kino Lorber like silent film collection alright we'll get back to the Warner Archive sale if you want to talk about that you guys were not weren't too talking about the Vinegar Serum stuff we'll talk about later we'll look at some other stuff as well Grunt, nice. The Boris Karloff triple feature. Swing State. Oh, just for the picture of Goldie Hawn alone. Oh, not that movie. <laughs> I'm just saying. Silent movies and animation. Dude, then Trash Man, gotta get those Tex Avery sets, man. And the Popeye ones, too. Well, thank you, Let's Get Physical. I 100% appreciate that. The Gollum or Captain Dr. Caligari. <laughs> Mayor of Hell. Can't, no, not one of Kagan's most famous films, but a good film, that's for sure. Now we got Speedway, Elvis Presley. I, I like Speedway. Nancy Sinatra's in that one. Um, 
I actually got flying down, flying down to Rio somewhere actually downstairs. I don't know if I've ever watched it, to be honest with you. The movie Courtship of Eddie's Father, which is part of the series. A crappy Alpha video. I, I got a couple of crappy Alpha videos. I, I love the look of it. The Alpha video stuff is great there. I love your name. Let's get physical. That's, really, that's a really cool name. Marlo. I, I like James Garner. I'm a huge fan of uh, The Rockford Files. Uh, obviously, uh, because well, it's it's just a realistic private investigator show. For those who don't know, I almost became a, I almost went into the PI business. I went in a different direction. I, right now, I'm thinking I probably should went into the PI business. I'd probably make more money in the PI business. <laughs> Even Cowgirls is great. Why in the blue freaking hell would even Cowgirls be something that's that's flagged by them? Got the Popeyes in text. Excellent, man. Yogi's first Christmas. Hey, hey, boo boo buddy. I like Yogi. Uh, Three Musketeers. I love Three Musketeers. That's one fan half right. Here's one I like. Here's one not not enough people like to talk about. All right, Pretty Maids All in a Row. Rock Hudson, great little film, little mystery, uh, with uh, I think it's Roger Vadim. Yeah, it's Roger Vadim. Written by Gene Roddenberry from Star Trek fame. Rock Hudson, Angie Dickinson, Telly Savalas, Roddy McDowell, Keenan Wynn, James Doohan, also from Star Trek. Uh, William Campbell. How can you not want to get this film? Ladies' man, Rock Hudson, may or may not be a killer. you got to find out. And, oh, something to let you guys know. And for anybody that has this, you can let me know if, uh, if this is true. But this is what I have heard. The DVD edition of Don't Be Afraid of the Dark with Kim Darby has features that were not ported over to the Blu-ray edition. So I think there's a commentary missing to of the in the Blu-ray edition of Don't Be Afraid of the Dark that is on the DVD edition. If any I've heard that a few times. If anybody can confirm that, I would love to know. Because from what I've heard, that's a. Uh, I love Giant. I'm a, I, was, I grew up a big Rock Hudson fan. Uh, so uh, it was definitely an idol of mine. The, the, early one, the early Wonder Woman. Kathy Lee Crosby's Wonder Woman. <sighs> You'll notice that she looks nothing like Wonder Woman. Her hair is blonde. Her suit is horrible. But it's a fun film. And why is this a fun film? Because of Ricardo Montibon. Welcome to Fantasy Island. What a horrible Ricardo Montibon. Cartoon Roots, a great series of collections of old animation. I don't know if I have trash. I'm looking at that, though. I'm building a cart now? Am I helping or hurting, Matthew? I came back as fun. Of course, Marx Bros. is always fun, but you can get a set for those. Like, I always look at, you know, things you can get as a set. Because you want to make sure you get the biggest bang for your buck, right? Kung Fu the movie, the one with Brandon Lee. I am Kane. I will help you. Andy Griff, The Girl in the Empty Grave. I think there was just like a that's a was a series. There's a couple movies uh, that he did with the same character. It was like a I'm not sure it's a sheriff or a detective, something like that. Abel Marsh. I'm pretty sure there's more than one of these. Uh, there's spending too much money on Warner and having nothing left over for Vinegar Syndrome later on. 
it's it's the tightrope walk, Andres, of like basically trying to find that that comfortable. Like I can't uh, like indulge in the sale because I'm not American, but uh, it's that tightrope walk to find exactly that comfortable spot for you. Crossfires again, another great great like uh, film noir. Uh, Murder Must Fell, if you like, like Agatha Christie, like kind of lighthearted Agatha Christie. Uh, Margaret Rutherford played, of course, a Miss Marple in a, in a few films, but there is a set out of that as well, so I'd say wait on that one. I don't remember Eye the Devil, but I do love this cover. Face in the Crowd, one of his best roles, man, hands down. And so relevant right now. Like Jerry, Girl in the Empty Grave, isn't that one? Isn't there like another one with that with that same character with with like the same actor playing him, like with Andy Griffith? Didn't Abel Marsh do? Wasn't there more than one Abel Marsh film? I could be wrong. Maybe I'm thinking something else. This looks kind of cool. Deborah Carr, David Niven, a forbidding French chateau and its surrounding vineyards are the setting for gothic thrills in this haunting excursion into the occult. Deborah Carr and David Niven co-starring for the first time. An exceptional cast in which an innocent outsider uh, to an enclosed world peels back layers of mystery to reveal a shocking truth. Kara plays the outsider, the wife of a troubled marquis, who discovers perhaps too late that her husband's ancestral chateau is home to witches, warlocks, a sinister priest, twelve hooded figures, and terror. And got good old Donald Pleasant, so how can you not want that? There is a Kindle sale going on right now, and a pretty, a fairly big one too. It's their March Madness sale. Sugar and Spice. I kind of have fun with that one. That is the one with Andy Griffith. I want to see something. It's driving me the well now. So. Yeah, the other one's Deadly Game. So we've had like the only Killer Masters, which was James Garner playing Abel Marsh. Uh, then we had the two Andy Griffith ones. Uh, and there was a uh, Ellen Alda film, again using the character of Abel Marsh, called Isn't It Shocking, which was a remake of the only Killer Masters. So there's four <laughs> Abel Marsh films out there. Halloween haunts. I don't know. I like the Halloween haunts. Haunts sounds cool. Uh, all right. I want to see something that stands out. I'll stop there. Like there's some great titles here. Like I don't want. Obviously, we can't go through like through everything. We can't stop at everything. Hey, good looking. I remember that one. Wild Wild Planet. That's fun. Uh, I probably should have just put in Blu-rays, but I wanted to say, okay, this movie here, again, also a huge thing for me. I did I did gymnastics when I was young, so this was a big one for me. I'm not going to say it's well acted, because <laughs> it's not, but it has a beautiful, beautiful Janet Jones, who would marry uh, Canadian hockey legend uh, Wayne Gretzky. But uh, that's uh, Mitch Gaylord. Who was an amazing, an amazing uh, Olympic gymnastics athlete, and you get to see some of his, his gymnastics work in here. So if you if you're a gymnastics fan, if you like gymnastics and hot girls and uh, some pretty stiff acting, but a really good soundtrack, including a uh, 
the song Take It Easy by Andy Taylor from, of Duran Duran fame. We'll talk about the, uh, the Call to Cinema merchandise thing there later. Then I, I recommend it. I, I really do like that. If you're, I'm a, I'm a gymnast, I like, I did gymnastics. Gymnastics was, was a big thing for me. I would watch like any gymnastics thing I could find. No, no. Uh, so, Jerry, a lot of us were really confused. The, basically, I did gymnastics, yeah. I did gymnastics. I uh, I did parkour before it was called par parkour dentist. I love the swimmer. It, it is Swimmer's great. Kubrick, you would love the swimmer. 100%. Watch that. You can find the film at your library or sometimes when you got the money, the bones to pick it up, man, pick it up. Oh, no, like the Warner Archives toys are not going into print. What's happening is the company that runs this here website, from what I heard, that does these sales, they're uh, no longer going to have the rights to Warner Archives, uh, like the, the sale titles. There still is going to be a Warner Brothers shop, but I think it's going to be run by Warner Brothers or somebody else. It's just not going to be the guys that are doing it right now. So I'm sure Warner themselves will have their own version of the sale. Uh, down the road, but for this company here, it's their last Warner Archives 4 for 44 sale. I love the swimmer, man. I do. Linda Hunt. Another favorite of mine, Pump Up the Volume with Christian Slater. I was actually in a, in college doing journalism when this movie came out. And I was like uh, doing the, uh, I did the radio show. So that was uh, always, always fun. Wanted to be cool as Christian Slater was. Razorbacks here. I recommend uh, grabbing the, uh, the Umbrella edition of Razorback though. If you can, because uh, they got a really good edition. They got a Beyond Genres edition. So I'd say skip on the DVD Razorback made on demand here and go for the Umbrella edition if you can, uh, if you can do that. Maybe I'm a bit pretentious. Well, <laughs> I, I just enjoyed it, but I, I can understand. I totally get that. Uh, Bad Ronald, of course. I think that's on Blu-ray as well. The Jetsons meet the Flintstones, which you probably got if you got the uh, Flintstones uh, Flintstones collection. I don't. I got the Jetsons collection. Maybe it's on that. The Lilith Sobo, the movie. There's a voice. Keeps on calling me. To a place. Okay. Uh, that's watching comics. I. Listomania. There's a different one for you. Listomania is when you either like or you hate. There's no in between with that one. Snow Devils. Not a bad one, actually. I like Snow Devils. Ringo and, and his golden pistol. All right. I could do a type of Bad Round. Bad Round's a fun film. Mark Damon. That's a cool one. If you if you like the uh, westerns, there's a Johnny Ringo western. Like the Italian western stuff. Ringo and his golden pistol was done by Sergio Cabucci. And for those that don't know, then uh, Sergio Cabucci of course, made The Great Silence, which is one of the great spaghetti westerns of all time. So I'll recommend any Kerbucci stuff. My favorite Joan Crawford film of all time, I'm going on this hill, is Humoresque. Joan Crawford with John Garfield as this amazingly insane. Uh, <laughs> most people can't Kubrick. <laughs> uh, so, this amazingly amazing violinist. 
he meets this older woman uh, played by Joan Crawford that he, he falls for it is uh, it is a tragic film but it is a gorgeous film and I 100% recommend you Moresque. and be going in a totally they say that they're supposed to be like DVDs now I don't know if all of them are DVDs or like some of them might be DVDRs they said that they moved away from DVDRs but uh the only time I'm 100% sure is when it's a Blu-ray Twisted though the ones I got I think are are DVDs I actually afterwards what I'll do I got a couple of their Warner Brothers like uh, archives one archives DVDs and I'll show you I'll actually show you the the back of the DVDs so you can actually decide for yourself Cleopatra Jones and the Casino of Gold how can you not want that right Dead Bang with uh with Don Johnson what's his name um uh, Ron Jeremy worked on that actually he was like the I think he did the uh the explosions and stuff Halloween tree 100 percent recommend that one the awakening which is coming out by scream factory Suzanne summer and a bikini you gotta love that I'm gonna put this here for a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a good one. I'm gonna put it on for you, show you guys. Ooh, what, the Winter Kill is this another Abel Mar Marsh film, or is it a different character? Now this is a Sam McNeil film. This is his other one. Hey there, Mr. Sushi. Hey there, Sam Attack. We're looking at the four for forty-four sale right now. I'm about to go down and get some of the uh, the DVDs to give you an idea. Spiral Staircase, Rod Stark and the Sergeant. Just going to leave it right here for a second. I want to get a good one. Raquel Welsh. There we go. We're going to leave it on Raquel, Raquel Welsh for a second. And flare up. Most men want to love her. One man wants to kill her. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ron, I don't want to talk about the Ron Jeremy thing, but dude's going to jail, man. Dude's going to jail. All right. Okay. So let's look. When I said I have a handful, I really meant that uh, only a handful. So this is the one Blu-ray that I've got from uh, from Warner Archives, and it is this one right here. This is the Hunger. And as you can see, the hunger is pressed. So the Blu-ray is definitely pressed. But let's look at the DVDs. And we'll look at more than one because sometimes one's not going to give you the right like uh so this would be the dvd of doc savage man of bronze i would definitely touch on kino as well man so 
we'll look at them all. You guys be be you guys decide. So this is Doc Savage. This is what the and we'll actually go through them all for you guys. This is MOD. Yeah, the DVDs are all pressed. The blue sorry, the Blu-rays are all pressed. So that's one. I would kill for Don't Be Afraid of the Dark Lance. It's one of my favorites from my youth. And I've watched these, so I can tell you the quality. Of these are really good as well. This is Night School. I will show you the front and backs of all these. People do tend to be too harsh, uh, Cinema Tech. Because I will say, there's a huge difference in getting it done from like an actual company and getting it done for somebody in his house <laughs> this is the snow devils Unfortunately, if you're like me and you can't get one archives at all, sometimes these are the only things I can get. Night School was pressed. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure Night School is pressed. That's the first press one. I think the other ones here I've seen have not been, but Night School was pressed. This one might be too, actually. Let's see. Well, that's why you go where you go during a sale. <laughs> Atlantis, the Lost Continent. So that was expressed. Don't worry, there's not too many of these, so that we gotta go through. Okay, there is Captain Sinbad. Check something here. Okay. Wild, wild planet. I showed you guys there. See, don't say that I don't go out of my my way to make sure you guys get the uh, the best possible looks at all these. Let me just see if I can see anything on the inside here as well. I'm sure this one is burn actually. I think it was says DVR. <clears throat> Only three more. So Cleopatra and the Casino of Gold, which I really do like actually. Cleopatra Jones. Now, a lot of these are in Blu-ray, too, so you can always buy the Blu-rays of these, by the way. The green slime. And for Blu-rays, you're not going to have to worry because Blu-rays are pressed. Let 
This is a remastered edition of Green Slam because there was an edition before. And last, and definitely not least, is the Return to Salem's Lot. So there you go. As you can see, when you ask, I deliver. So did that help anybody like in deciding or figuring out like which ones were pressed or burnt? Thank you, Lance. Because hopefully that'll, that'll help you decide. <laughs> That's true. True enough. Well, true enough. It may not last as long as those, as those DVDs anyway. You never know nowadays. Bloody hell. And I will get to the Kino sales well, by the way. Because I know there's a lot of people that are going for that one right now. One thing we should do, no, no, not time for tea. We're, we're still good. Um, trying to get rid of me, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> so Night of the Lepus, not a good movie, but I actually like that film, like Killer Bunny Rabbits. You gotta love that. Let's look, let's look at Indicator. Indicator, I think their sale is still going on, if I'm correct, it's going on all weekend. So let's see if there's been any updates in the Indicator sale. What we want to do is we want to go to the indicator sale. 666 years of age. Are you telling us something there, Lance? <laughs> and uh, with the OOP returns, let's see if any of them are actually available. Nope. Born of Fire and Breakout are both available right now. Uh, the limited editions are ba both back in stock. Georgie Girl is back in stock in the limited edition. Guess who's coming to dinner? And whoa, okay. Right now, I, I'm I'm letting you know. We're, we got to be sure about this. We got so. <laughs> no, Kubrick. Uh, <clears throat> Hammer, Volume 2, Kremlin Tent. One of the great volumes of the Hammer. Indica if you do not have this, I really recommend you get the hell out of this. You get this one right now. It is in print again. Oh. I got this one. Uh, we got the snorkel. It's never take sweets from a stranger. The full treatment. Cash on demand. One of Peter Cushing's best roles. And most uh, returns updates 2 p.m. every day. Right on. This is a really, if you don't have this set, man, I'm not lying. This one is out of print. You should be grabbing it. Happy birthday to me. Also, another one that was out of print. There are at, there are five like volumes of the Hammer Box of Dennis. Uh, Indicator has done amazing stuff with that. Uh, this one's been out of print for a while, so they're getting some extra copies that they're finding, uh, and every day they refresh it. This is an amazing set. I'll show you after. I'll actually go down. I'll do my, I'll do the leg work. I will go downstairs and show you. Uh, Happy Birthday to Me is another really good one. Warren Beatty, Dean Seberg, Lilith. Ministry of Fear. Missing. What amazed me is they had, like, Night of the Demon, like, for a while. That wasn't back in print. Hey there, Nate. Welcome. Hey, did you notice? Did you? By the way, I loved the video last night. Uh, Got to watch Nate's video, by the way. He did a really good video yesterday. And he wore the Cult of Cinema shirt, which you all should be wearing, just so you know. <laughs> Um, Hammer Volume 2 is back in stock I think you got all of them though Suddenly last summer An incredible Elizabeth Taylor film Is available The Legacy is back in stock 
the mind of Mr. Soames, the Odessa file. Yeah, they, they, they switch it up, they change it, like they refresh it, Dennis, like, because you never know it's going to be in stock the next day. So this is going on until Monday. And you got to look every day, just to be sure. Ministry of Fear is on Criterion, but without features, actually. It's one of the, the lower price Criterions. I know, I, I own it. Uh, the Odessa file, uh, the Reckless Moment, Marlon Brando, to serve with love, and oh, 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 yes, for those that don't have, I have this one, I will 100% recommend this one, William Castle at Columbia, Volume 1, is back in stock. Uh, why this is not sold out again, I don't know, this has been out of print, uh, this is a really good one, uh, I'm actually super surprised it's back in again. Uh, Nate, did you get this one, man? Uh, the Tingler, 13 Ghosts, Homicidal, Mr. Sardonicus. I 100% appreciate it, Nate. I really do. For the people that have gone to the merch store and bought merchandise, uh, it, it's, it's, I uh, thank you so much. Uh, especially right now. Because I ain't getting any taxes back. <laughs> and that sucks ass. Uh Kino today. <laughs> nice. But look, William Castle. It's back in. This is so good. This is such a good set. Is this the one? I gotta see if this is the one or just Yeah, this one has, just so you know. Uh, full mention, uh, next sale Vince so it won't be on sale this time around but uh, just so you know the Spine Tingler 87 minute long feature length documentary on William Castle's life and all of his films it's on this set so if you went out and got volume 2 or you weren't sure about volume 2 and, and you missed out on volume 1 you gotta have it. Nate's got it. He knows. It's it's amazing. So glad I came in and looked at this tonight. Well, John, unfortunately, like CR man, it is a good one. It's a really good one. The documentary alone would be worth it. But all four of those films are solid, solid films. Tingler is that Vince is that Vincent Price film most people thought they saw, but they didn't. Shipping costs insane? Actually, no, actually. Uh, I don't go for companies with insane shipping costs. Uh, you, you guys will notice that with uh, with me, actually. I'll steer away from them. This one's shipping is not too bad. And by the way, Dennis, I've also noticed they're extremely fast. So uh, that's another thing. They're, they're faster than a lot of companies. They, they, their vinegar turned them level fast. Not like a screen factory. We've waited forever. <laughs> their vinegar turned them level fast. But yeah, again, I'm, I'm blown away here. Uh, volume 2, if you don't have it. Me and Nate are the cool kids, so we got it. <laughs> and uh, and Volume 1 for... Uh, yeah, like, here's the thing. That's the thing, Damien. These, thing, these aren't movies that... These aren't regular sale items. These... These were ones that were out of print that are now, until these sell out, out of print again. Now, as a guy that works, just so you guys know, I work with a company and I work with a, uh, a lot of, uh, of shipping. Uh, I, do, I deal with a lot of shipping issues from companies. Their uh, their shipping isn't isn't bad considering where it comes from and uh, what the quality ship the co the quality that they send it and how quickly you get it. <clears throat> Cause sure you can go to some places which are gonna have like no shipping at all, and you can wait forever and maybe get the set. <laughs> so I'm just putting that out. You can wait forever and maybe get it, or you can get it. <clears throat> and. Uh, that's the thing. Do you want the film? Or do you not? <laughs> That's the thing. 
See, that's amazingly fast. Kino's really good with stuff like that too. And these aren't these aren't even their sale ones. This is not the sale to items, probably. These are just the out of print stuff that's only available during the sale. Once this is gone, this is gone. They're not coming back. You're not getting them again. Um, the sale that's right here. Some people were disappointed. A couple of the the box sets were on sale that they thought were going to be on sale. For those that managed to get the Norma J. Warren set, like I got that one last uh, on, during the last sale. Uh, Gotta recommend it. I really do. That's the killer part, Dan. So, and I know, like, obviously, I'm financially I've been hit hard. Uh, I talked about at the beginning of the video, so I got to be very careful when it comes to what I, what I buy. But uh, one hundred percent, like uh, when it's when it's worth it, you you go uh, and you and you grab what you want like the one the ones you want because at the end of the day that's what you look for look for stuff when it's on sale because it's half price if you get enough releases then the shipping is going to definitely be worth it cisco pike limited edition looks to be in i thought cisco pike was sold out actually nice to know that one's still available that's a really good one brian sauer from just the disc computer cinema will tell you all about that one actually Someone's come last we get a bad Yelp review. Do people see the Yelp? <laughs> Is that still a thing? Berserk's a good Joan Crawford film. I like that one. Blue Collar. Uh, not the limited edition. The limited edition is gone for that one. But uh, really, really good Paul Schrader film with uh, with Richard Pryor and Yefet Kodo. Dragonwick, great film. Teen Tierney. Eyes Laura Mars is there. These three, they have... I thought, oh, okay. Uh, let me just check. Maybe some didn't go through or something, but yesterday, Force 10 for Navron was sold out. But it looks to be back now. So jump on that. Sam Deegan's commentaries are awesome. And the, you're getting a great movie with Gorgon and Damon. That's a really good one. Dropped it gorgeous. The Witches showed in Little Tokyo. Mr. Nice Guy. Nice. Endless Nights is a good one. <clears throat> I like Force Stamp. My better half loves Force Stamp. Uh, she likes that those still like those action movies. You know, bunch of guys, bunch of guys get together, and you know, look at the cast we got here. By the way, Robert Shaw, Harrison Ford, Barbara Bach, Edward Fox, uh, Carl Weathers, Richard Keel. You know, Josh from Moonraker, uh, and of course, the Spy Love Me, uh, Franco Nero, Django himself is in it. Directed by Guy Hamilton, who's a great like action director. Did a lot of Bond stuff. A ton of features. Anybody want to buy this for me? I got a birthday coming up. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it looks like they restock some of these. Uh, or that or somebody made a, came in about like four or five. That happened. So somebody came in about four or five and they said like, nope, not happening. And they said, no, you can get two. That's about it. That's more than like what happened actually. Scalpers came in and tried to buy a lot of them. And they noticed that it was coming from the same account or maybe a duplicate account. Scalpers are the bane of the collecting world. Great. Look how sexy that looks, too. But Force 10, I do recommend it. It's a really good film. Hammer Volume 5. I would kill for this one, actually. Great value, actually. Uh, really cool set here. Of course, you know, not, not this limited edition, but hardcore. Hard watch, great film. Uh, the Marlene Dietrich set. Uh, or, again, I recommend that one. John Ford at Columbia. Night Tide, regular edition. I love to see the special edition on that one. Town on Trial. Jello Aspects, it does actually. Uh, I, I really wish I had Town on Trial. The Samuel Fuller at Columbia set is really, really good. I do recommend that one. Uh, I like that one a lot actually. 
See no evil, it would kill for. We decided to keep things limited. We're not even going for groceries this week, actually. Not till next week. Yeah, scalpers in the community. Is Chris a scalper? Or a flipper, because there's a difference. <laughs> uh, Gumshoe is a good one. Uh, the Beast Must Die. I know a lot of people don't like this. I love this film, actually. I got the Severn edition. I don't have the updated edition. I really should. Curse the Mummy's Tomb. Gorgon, which somebody said he got. Good for you, man. Mad Magician's a cool one. That is in 3D, man. Uh, you got 3D. It's got two, like, 3D, st Three Stooges shorts as well. So definitely recommend on that one. Pellet Book's actually not a bad one. Snake Pit, Olivia yeah, de Havilland. Oh, the Fuller set, man. That's amazing. And the features on that's incredible. <laughs> MOD it depends I mean like the uh, uh, the blue if if you're looking at the Warner sale Blu-rays are going to be pressed for sure uh, DVDs it's a it's a toss up did you like Mad Magician Nathan because it has that kind of like a uh, house of wax feel to it you know except I think his character in Mad Magician is more likable Or have you not watched yet? Or are you cursing me because you picked it up? Watermelon Man. Wim Castle. There's save volume two right here. And now in the in the limited edition, like volume one is. And I'm not joking. If you didn't get volume one, like hell's yeah, worth picking up. I wouldn't be surprised if I went back to the out of print set and saw some of these that we looked at before are gonna out of print again. And a watch. It's a good one, Wolf. I liked it. <laughs> You'll like it, man. You'll like it. But there's so much good stuff here. Wasn't Wolf available a minute ago? This is a great sale. It is a great sale. I promise you guys we'll go to Kino. We'll go to Kino. Don't say I... Don't say I never gave you anything. This is my birthday month, but I'm doing this for you. <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy, hopefully it's, it's, it goes quickly, man. Enjoy the last half of your shift, last little bit of your shift. <laughs> All right, so Kino. As I mentioned before, things like Eight Million Ways to Die, the Matt Scudder film, 4D, man. Not not even 3D, 4D. Got to have some 4D. <laughs> have a great night, Nathan. Make sure you check out his videos, by the way. Nate's a really good YouTuber on here. Oh, there are. I mean, like you, you gotta, you pick, gotta pick and choose what what you like there. Is there March Madness sale? I'd be guessing most of March. Uh, let me see. Sale ends April the fifth for the uh, Kino sale. Yep, Vince, that's what we were just looking at. There was that it was the out of print section. Did you notice that they had the uh, volume two of like Hammer and volume one of? Uh, of the Wim Castle sets, two which I got to met, incredible films, incredible sets. What's 4D? It's, it's just a gimmick for the film. It's like he's not really like you're not going to see him come out in 4D or anything like that. It's just the film title. The All Nighters there, and soon the darkness. 
great sets great stuff here i know kubrick you picked up some of the stuff during the sale here uh Audie murphy got who doesn't love Audie murphy like in all seriousness Baby Blood, if you like the, the gory stuff. Bay of Blood, Mario Bava's here. Uh, Barbara Stanwyck collection. The Bedroom Window, if you like to see like St Steve Gutenberg getting all sexy and stuff. Beware the Blob. <clears throat> Billy the Kid versus Dracula. There's one I want. Bitter Moon. I love that cover. It's way... There's so much, man. There's so much. Dennis, you have a great evening, man. Thanks for coming in. Until... <laughs> until around 2.30 this afternoon, I thought I was going to be able to jump into some of this stuff. No, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Black Sabbath is here, both versions. There's the there's the international version, which is the Italian language version of it. And of course, there's Black Sabbath. What t Man of Han himself. Let me know what you think of that one. That's a really good film. Roger Moore's personal favorite. Runaway Train, again, incredible film. Sugar Hill, yes. And on flick. So there you go. Four amazing films. The balcony is seriously weird. Baron Blood is Joseph Cotton. And not, I wouldn't say like, you know, it's it's top tier. Bava, but I really enjoy it. Now, no going in, I'm a huge Joseph Cotton fan. And Hush Hush Sweet Charlotte is a favorite of mine due to that. Now, Joseph Cotton is also in one of my favorite movies that I've ever watched, which is um, is the Alfred Hitchcock one. Can you Can you name it? But uh, I like it. I like Baron Blood overall. It's a fun film. Like, if you don't have Black Sabbath or or Black Sunday, you know, or you don't have like, uh, you don't have Black Sabbath or or the, uh, or something like Bay of Blood, get those first. But uh, if Baron Blood is one of the ones missing in your Baba collection, because uh, I don't have it yet, uh, I would, and I, and I wish I did, I really do, I would say grab it. The thing here, CR, is there's going to be a lot of things that I talk about that not a lot of people talk about. Because <laughs> I'm just that kind of guy. The bounty wasn't bad. I, I'll agree with you. Breakheart Pass. Bob Leflambe. Uh, Bob the Gambler. Really good film. I'll probably really mispronounce that French really badly. Bernard Franks, of course, the Buster Keaton shorts collection is amazing. Right on, shout of a doubt. Thank you. You get cool points, zombies. I was waiting for somebody to say it. For those that know or don't know, that's one of my favorite films of all time. Right, right there, Black Christmas, to 74. Shout of a doubt, Joseph Cotton, Teresa Wright, and uh, uh, McDonald Carey is uh, one of my favorites. Cool Baby Kill's really cool. Though, as, you want to know kind of a, a short little fun story, John? Uh, my dad loves like uh, the Italian films and Bav and stuff like that. So... He brought it up to, like, I guess the uninitiated. Uh, so he said, I'm going to rent, like, a film uh, for them, like, a, a, some different film. He, so he rented Kill Baby Kill. They hated it. He got so pissed with them. Uh, but uh, I like Kill Baby Kill. I like it a lot, actually. You have great taste, Wolf. Blaze, again, another cool release. You got the Criterion, and that's a good one to have. Candy is here. Uh, Captain Apache. I'm not going to make the mistake in picking something from each line this time around like I did last time. I have no voice. Uh, great sets. Like just the sets there. The sets are, are phenomenal. Fantastic. Phenomenal. Color of Night. You want to get see Bruce Willis in a sexy, sexy, sexy film? Code of Silence with Chuck Norris. That's a good one. Yum Cronin. I love Yum Cronin. That was the film with that got him and like uh, Hitchcock together, because you know Hume Cronin 
you know, I'm, you're, I'm sure you're aware, worked on many Hitchcock films. And the, and it was Shadow of a Doubt that, uh, that got him, uh, like, in with Hitchcock. Noir set. I don't have the Yiddish classics one. Actually, I was interested. I don't have those other Noir sets either. I just got the first one. I need to get the other ones right. So I got cover up here. Crimson Cult's a cool one. Boris Karloff, Christopher Lee. I like that. Cursey and Dead. There's, there's a must. There's cheesy fun. Love it. Uh, Dead of Night. Again, like I mentioned this one last night. If you don't have Dead of Night, 110%. Recommend Dead of Night. So, one of the original anthology films. So good. It does. It's got a lot of Jane March. Right? You're going to see much more Jane March than you normally do. Convoy. Yeah. We got a big old convoy. <laughs> uh, so, Death Before Dishonor. This is the most attempts at singing I've ever done in any of my videos. Uh, I apologize. It might be at a print ride, to be honest with you. I think the first set have four or so films on it. But the first one's the only one I got. First one, and of course, I got the DVD edition. That is out of print. DC Cab. I said DC Cab Theater. Um, but we got Deranged here. Robert Blossom. Great film. Uh, Devil Times 5, which is really fun. I like that those killer kid films. Defcon 4, another really cool one. Death on the Nile. Bam, right there. Uh, and the D Diabolical Dr. Z. I wish I was doing what I did back in the day. I was in when I used to sell films. Uh, 150 on, on your diet. Oh, man. Had to walk over from PC View to Boutique Label to Sunrise. Oh, Dave, I'm sorry, man. But hopefully, 1500 Holy crap. I know I had to do that once with my uh, with my cat, so I understand what you mean. Deep Rising. Yeah, there's one. See, you guys can, like, pick up on stuff that I miss out on. Five. Yeah, that's the one. Invasion Earth's a good one. If you like to hit the uh, like the sci-fi stuff, it's kind of like Doc True stuff. Hey there, Ed the Past, welcome. We actually mentioned Ed the Past. Well, <laughs> film there not too long ago because because it was part of their the whole like big Warner Archive sale. We had to do that with our cat. Same amount, actually, fifteen million, fifteen million, fifteen, uh, fifteen hundred, on uh, on on New Year's Eve. But as long as your dog is feeling good now, if he's better, that's 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 the key part. Those labels will be there later on. It's got one less film than the Blu-ray. I gotta check that out. I'll show you the one I got actually afterwards. Uh, there's the. Two, three, and four, which you got. Those are really good sets, by the way, guys. Five Dollars of an August Moon. This, again, is another Bava film. It is an amazing one. The pass is incredible. And Out of the Past is the se one of the seminal film noirs that everybody must have. So right here we're looking at, there's so many classics here. Um, you know, Jane Russell, Jane Russell Foxfire. I, I like that, actually. Uh, Fuzz, definitely a different film. Do you think he'll upgrade the rest of the dollar show to 4K? Uh, honestly, CR, I think, is going to depend on sales. I mean, we know that the good, bad, and the ugly, you know, is, that's, that's, that's a given 4K. But uh, I would say, I'd say eventually. I would I would not be surprised. They've done a Blu-ray like uh, edition for their uh, Sergio Leone films. I would not be surprised if they did like a, a 4K edition on the road. That's the reason I've kind of held off on getting any more of that stuff. It's a big sale. Like uh, definitely want to check out. Like there's pages upon pages of stuff here. Uh, there's a there's a long to Warner Archive sale. There's a lot of sales going on. And the indicator one. If you in indicator and you don't have 
uh, Hammer Volume 2 or William Castle Volume 1, they're in stock right now. And they didn't even want her, like Twisted. Uh, Edwidge Finnish. Hey there, Jason. Welcome. They didn't even, he didn't even want her in the film. Like, she steals the show every time she's on that damn screen. Uh, but, uh, but he didn't want her. He didn't think she was, she was, good, for the, she was good for the role. I, I disagree with that right there. We got the good son here. Sonny and Shares. The the swing is on. Good times, basically. Good times. Swing is on, what I'm saying. Good times. <laughs> Sergio Martino's The Great Alligators here. Uh, a lot of cool titles are. Uh, and like some classic titles, too. Some really cool classic stuff. <laughs> and I think I'm with the gun. Uh, even 4K is like Hannibal, if you're into that. Hard to Hold, I saw in theater. I'm, I'm not. I'm unabashed fan of Hard to Hold. Let's see what what Hatchet for a Honeymoon. Oh, that's a redemption title. Audio Commentary by Tim Lucas? Hell yeah. I would recommend it then. Hatchet for the Honeymoon. Devil's Express? Yeah, there's another good one. Far From Heaven? Fantastic. Is there any way I can get on Kino's review list? Anybody know how to do do that? Uh, uh, Highway to Hell, way, way better than you think it is. With an amazing cast, though. although every member of the Steeler family is in this film, uh, Richard Farnsworth is in it. Uh, we have uh, C.J. Graham, who played uh, Jason in Part Six, who's playing uh, who's playing the cop in this one here. Oh God, there's so many so many actors in this. I got a a pukey cat tonight. It's okay, Giddy. Well, he, it wasn't his favorite at the time. Somebody got too high and got too pukey. You do, actually? Definitely. I would really appreciate that. Because I definitely love their stuff. And I definitely promote their sales. <laughs> if you don't have the DePatty Freeling stuff that they put out, by the way, and not just the stuff put out by uh, by the, not just like the Pink Panther. Pink Panther's fantastic. But there are other stuff like the Inspector and all this stuff as well. I do have a Letterbox account. I'll be honest with you, man. I've never really used it. Uh, like, I got it. I really should use it more. I know a lot of people are really in the letterbox and do it a lot. Commentaries are a key thing for me. Like of all the features I can be on a thing, I love documentary and stuff like that, but I love a good commentary. Like a really good, like you, you get like a Tim Lucas, a Sam Deegan, a Heather Drain, um, Sam, uh, a Cat Ellinger commentary. You, you try hard with you, you know you're, you're solid. You want to get the Buck Rogers set. I can't remember Iceman right now. So if anybody else knows, they can let, let them know. Okay. Want to thank you of the past for getting me the contact information. Intermezzo, yeah. There's one I've seen that I can agree. <laughs> but I like the cla- I like the classic stuff. I don't get to talk about it a lot on here, and I want to do like a a classic video. Uh, I like Jack the Giant. I know a lot of people. Man. I like Jack the Giant Killer. I really did. But one I have to mention, and I'm not sure if I had the pass as this one or not, but I would recommend it. Uh, my better half actually turned me on to this one. 
Jacques Briel is alive and well and living in Paris. So for those that that don't know, it's Jacques Briel was a was a singer, a Parisian singer, and think of him as he was lyrical. Think of I guess oh, do I want to read him? Put it that way. Maybe maybe not. Maybe I don't know if this is going to come across right or not, but maybe the Leonard Cohen of his uh, of his style. Um, that's I guess that's the best way to to put it. Uh, I would recommend looking up some of his his music, but this is you know American theater film theater release. Um, this is an audio commentary interview with with Eddie Lando on here, Eddie Lando, sorry. But it's it's a really cool release. He's got this really like he what's the words? I don't want to use the words same words that are there, but the, the, the it's it's written really well, lyrical, just incredible, amazing uh, music that he does, and uh, I would recommend checking it out. Oh, cool. thanks, Brian. But yeah, so that's that's just a different one. I know that a lot of people may not Vince apparently knows, but um, but not a lot of people like kind of talk about. And I wanted to to really to put that one out there. Kind hit, kind hearts and cornets. Uh, again, I like that one. I really like that film. Alec Guinness, of course. Uh, Kiss before dying. Jack the Giant Slayer. That you catch the original is much better. Um, Krakatoa, east of Java. I will con I'll contact you afterwards, actually. You guys are awesome, by the way. Thank you so much. I've been in a bit of a funk today, and you guys are so helpful. You always do it. You always, like, bring me back. You bring me back from the edge. Um, Last Valley with Michael Caine. I, I know my Sharif. I actually like that. Is dude, if Beyond Therapy is the worst movie that you've seen, you gotta see more movies. I don't mean that on gatekeeping. They play out. <laughs> Watch things. Uh, Watch things. Uh, it's not my favorite, but <laughs> but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Christopher Frankstein's listed at twenty one ninety nine on Warner Archives, reduced to twenty two dollars. Extra retail price before slashed to twenty one ninety nine is thirty nine ninety eight. So it's a cent more on the steel than it really would be. Ah, there you go. Ladybug, which one's that? Lifeboat. I recommend Lifeboat. More people should talk about Lifeboat. It's a really good film. Oh, Kino, this sale is killer. Like John, this sale is killer. It's okay, kitty. But, guys, I'm unfortunately going to have to cut it a bit short. I had planned to go a little bit longer. There's a couple other things I want to look at and talk to you guys about. Uh, I want, uh, I want to thank Ed the Past and Rye. Uh, I'll be contacting both of you, actually, and I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, <clears throat> but I got my kit, my kitty cat's a little bit on the pukey side. I think he's had a bit too much of the catnip. So I'm just going to go check on him, make sure he's okay, and do a little bit of cleanup. Thank you guys for keeping me company tonight. I 100% uh, appreciate it. Uh, have a wonderful evening. I uh, I gotta go check out my cat. You guys are fantastic. Have a great night. Enjoy your weekend, and I will uh, I'll talk to some of you actually very very soon. It's time to check out my kitty cat.